Benson, you have a... Don't they make you nervous? Everything I've done wrong since the age of three is rushing through my mind. <laughs> anyway, you have a visitor. Your beach buddy is here, Cassandra Turner. She's here in the house? Cassandra's here? <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon, your clergydom. <laughs> She's waiting in my office. How'd she get in? She told the guard she was a nun. And he believed her? Would a nun lie? <laughs> so, will you be out in a minute? No, but she will call security. Vincent, she just wants to talk. You don't know her. Well, of course I don't know her. I just met her, but she's very sweet and she's awfully attractive. Yeah, on the first date. Well, I think you're making a mistake, but this isn't my affair. And it's not mine either. If you want me to butt out, just say so. Butt out? <laughs> If you wouldn't come out and talk to her, she wanted me to bring her in here to talk to you. You do, and I'll kill you! <laughs> Said Cain to Abel. Fifth Commandment, one of my favorites. He's right behind me. I knew he would be. Casey, what are you doing here? I couldn't resist your invitation. I told you not to come over here. I read between the lines. I missed you, Benson. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is that all you have to say to me? I'd like to say more, but there's a house full of clergy here. You're playing hard to get. Should you rather be alone? It makes no difference to me. I don't care who knows how I feel about this man. Oh, good, then I'll stay. <laughs> Perhaps not. Benson? Okay, I can take a hint. Casey, do us both a favor and go back to the island. Well, I'm bored, and I can't resist a challenge. It's been a long time since a man said no to me. Go do that! <laughs> Benson? I have a proposition for you. Another one? Well, this is a business proposition. A friend of mine owns the Career Paradise Hotel, and he'd like me to go back down there and run the place for him. Oh, when did he say that? Well, he hasn't yet, but he will. I'm very happy where I am. Well, come on, Benson, say yes. If you like the hotel, I'll buy it for you. Will you buy me Park Place and Boardwalk, too? <laughs> I'm serious. You're delirious. Where do you get that kind of money? I earned it fair and square. Three husbands. Well, spare me the details and say goodbye. <clears throat> Casey. Now, who's chasing who? Casey, I'm going to be chasing you. Now, listen, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Casey, stop! OK, you win. I'm yours. <laughs> Mr. Excuse me. <laughs> it's quite all right, Father. This girl sprained her ankle, didn't you, Casey? No, my ankle's fine. <laughs> Well, it's a miracle. <laughs> I've heard of them. Uh, forgive me for interrupting you, but I'm lost. Could you tell me what Dr. Jimmy Slocum is giving his lecture, the one called Television, the 13th Apostle? Oh, yeah, well, right this way, Father. If you go right down this corridor... Uh-huh. Thank you. <laughs> now, where were we? Well, we were here, but you're gonna be someplace else real soon. Security? There's a Code 3 situation in the governor's office. Security? You're throwing me out? Oh, no, 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 no. They're going to throw you out. <laughs> you better call them back. I tried to be polite, but no, you were... you're making a big mistake, mister. You're the one who's making the mistake, barging into the governor's mansion in the middle of a religious conference, showing no respect for me or my colleagues. Benson, they're small potatoes. Oh, really? Well, here come two big potatoes. <laughs> this lady will be leaving. Nobody throws me out. Nobody. You're making a big mistake, Benson. You're gonna be sorry for this. I'm warning you, you're gonna be sorry for this. Now you did it. <laughs>